It is considered unlikely that Barcelona will face punishment amid allegations they paid more than £1 million to the former vice president of La Liga referees. In a bombshell story that dominated the front pages on Thursday, Barcelona find themselves embroiled in a corruption scandal. The Spanish club are being investigated by the Integrity Unit over alleged payments made across three seasons to DASNIL 95, a company owned by former match official José María Enríquez Negrera during Josep Bartomeu's presidency. It is alleged that Negrera, who would go on to become the vice president of the Technical Committee of Referees after retiring, was paid €532,728 in 2016, €541,752 in 2017, and then a further €318,200 in 2018. But Diario is detailed that Barcelona are not expected to be sanctioned as it is difficult for investigators to generate concrete evidence that they benefited from refereeing decisions. Prosecutors are investigating allegations that Barcelona paid a former La Liga referee more than £1 million across three seasons for consultancy work on how to behave with officials those payments are alleged by the prosecutor's office to have been made by Barcelona to DASNIL 95, with a report by Spain's tax agency, which is investigating Negrera's company, and seen by Diario as, claiming they wanted to make sure that no refereeing decisions were made against, that is, that everything was neutral. Should investigators discover concrete evidence that Barcelona were favoured then that would be in breach of Article 75 of the Disciplinary Code of the Royal Spanish Football Federation. The result of breaching Article 75 is detailed to be a very serious infraction, with sanctions ranging from points deductions to expulsion. The timing is disastrous for Barcelona having spent recent years mired in controversy, but they came out fighting in their own statement on Wednesday. Faced with the information broadcast today on the program KT Jugues de Esser Catalunya, FC Barcelona, aware of the facts being investigated by the prosecutor's office regarding payments made to external companies, wants to make it clear, that Barcelona hired in the past the services of an external technical consultant, who supplied, in video format, technical reports referring to players in lower categories of the Spanish state for the club's technical secretariat. Additionally, the relationship with the same external supplier was extended with technical reports related to professional refereeing in order to complement information required by the coaching staff of the first team and the subsidiary, a common practice in professional football clubs. Currently, this type of outsourced service falls to a professional attached to the football area. Barcelona regrets that this information appears precisely at the best sporting moment of the season. Barcelona will take legal action against anyone who damages the image of the club with possible insinuations contrary to the reputation of the entity that may arise as a result of this information. Furthermore, current president Joan Laporta vowed to defend the club's name amid the ongoing investigation. The recent report that Barca paid a referee for an investigation? It's not a coincidence that this information comes out now, when Barca are doing well, he said. We reserve all the necessary actions to defend our club. Barcelona president Joan Laporta has vowed to defend the club's name during the process Negrera and his son Javier Enriquez Romero have reportedly already testified and have denied that Barcelona ever received any preferential treatment from referees. In his testimony, according to Cadena SER, Negrera claimed that his alleged agreement with Barcelona was to see him recommend how their players should behave in game with referees. 
It is claimed he tailored his advice depending on the referee they were assigned for upcoming matches. That is, what they could and should not do depending on the referee designated for the matches. Both Barcelona and Negrera deny wrongdoing. The investigation continues. Article 75 in FULL 1. Any conduct aimed at predetermining results will be considered a very serious infraction, and will be penalized in accordance with the provisions of this article. b. Those who intervene in agreements leading to obtaining an irregular result in a match, either due to the anomalous performance of one or both of the contending teams or of one of their players, or using as an indirect means the improper alignment of any of these, the presentation of a team clearly inferior to the usual one or another procedure leading to the same purpose, will be sanctioned, as authors of a very serious infraction, with disqualification for a period of two to five years, and six points will be deducted from their classification to the clubs involved, declaring the match null and void, the repetition of which will only proceed in the event that one of the two opponents is not guilty and damage is derived for him or for third parties who are not responsible. 2. Those who participate in the commission of the offenses described in sections A and B, without having material and direct responsibility, will be sanctioned with disqualification or deprivation of license for a period of two years. To determine the degree of responsibility of these subjects, the disciplinary body will take into account the rules on responsibility established by criminal law. 3. The club directly benefiting from the conduct described in Section 1 of this article, may be penalized with the loss of category, in the event that any link with the perpetrators of the offense can be demonstrated. 4. In any case, the confiscation of the amounts will proceed if they have been made effective.